Here we are at Galveston Beach. They're doing the replenishing on the beach, which is pretty neat to watch. They're pumping the sand out from the ocean. So what we're gonna do is go up and we'll go fly down this pipe so you can see what they're doing. See the old dozer there going at it. There's another one. Now that you see this pipe right here, this is coming in from the ocean. And way out there, they pull up a ship and they discharge what they dredge. Come on back, let's go on down here to the end. Then the pipe comes in and they start pumping it to the furthest distance. When we get down here, Now this is sandy water they're pumping in. The sand goes in. All right, here's the pit. They ain't pumping right now, but what they do is they pump, and when it comes in, they catch it, they give the water time to drain off, which leaves back the sand. And that's how they replenish the beach. Now the sand's coming from the channel. Uh, they're, they're making bigger for the cruise ships to come in. So as they take it out of one spot, they bring it back to the other. You can see right here how much sand, see the lower beach? See how wide that was, see where it narrowed down. Pretty interesting. They've done this two times in the last 10 years that I know of. Here you can see the pump. Now this is the sand that comes down through uh, the bayous, the Buffalo Bayou and the Galveston Bay. And it comes all the way down in here collects in at the Port of Galveston. So as it builds up over time, the Army Corps of Engineer comes in and says, hey, we've got to get it out of there. The cruise ships are coming in, they're bigger ships. So they pump it. So when they pump it, the city of Galveston makes a deal with them to get the sand that they're pumping so we could replenish the beaches. What you're seeing right here is 950,000 cubic yards of sand. If you had to call up and have that delivered to your job site, that would be approximately 80,000 tandem loads of sand. That's a lot of sand. The city is paying $12 million to have this sand brought in. Galveston has a history of pumping sand in. As you look around, you will see the seawall, which is a concrete wall that you're looking down from. That seawall is here to protect Galveston. It was built 17 feet tall in September of 1900. Before they named hurricanes, they just called this one the Great Storm. It came ashore. Okay, and the water came in the surge was at 16 foot. So 
That's why the walls are 17 feet. In that one night, 6,000 of the 50,000 people that lived here died, giving Galveston the title of the worst U.S. national disaster in history for the United States. That's more people than Pearl Harbor and 9-11 combined. As you see the seawall right there, that's what they built. Now we're going to look at the pumping. The interesting thing on the back side of the seawall you can't see is the Walmart. Back in the 1900s, that used to be an orphan. The night of the great storm came in. The teachers, the nuns, tied themselves to the children to keep them all together for the storm. Unfortunately, the storm wiped out the whole orphanage. When they came and found, they found like a shoe in the beach, and when they started digging it up, it was, there was a child's body, and there was a rope that went to the next child, and to the next child, to the teacher. Really horrible. Um, it was a bad thing. So after the great storm, the Galveston people got together. Most of the city was gone. They said, we ain't going through this. Not only did they build the seawall, but they pumped from the bay out there. Just like they're pumping here, but this is in 1900. They pumped and raised the whole island from an average of 17 foot at the seawall to three foot all the way back on the backside. It took six years. Could you imagine the determination to get that done? Can you imagine living amongst that construction for six years? Galveston are some tough people. I'm telling you, they're tough. Take our famous look see here. Don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Have a good day.